Hey YouTube, this is Dave, and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your drive, hook it up to the Wi-Fi, and run the software. Okay, so I got it all set up. I have one of the Ethernet cables into LAN 1, and I got our power hooked up. On the front, according to the setup guide, we put in our drives. One, two, three. Now if you only have three drives, go from left to right. See, we put it in, it's got an arrow on the top, tells you what side is up, and in it goes. And we'll just replace the cover, and let's go hook it up now to our Wi-Fi router. I also have the Mac set up with the installation quick guide and the installation CD, but I'll also tell you where to get the download. Okay, so I'm going to connect into my Wi-Fi router from the back of the unit with the Ethernet cable. And we're going to plug this in. And now we'll hit the power button on the unit. And it'll start flashing. And what would an unboxing be without peeling up some plastic? So now the green lights have come on after about three or four minutes. And now we're going to take it to the Mac. Now it's blinking, telling us to get on the Mac and figure out what we need to install. Okay, so we're on findsynology.com. And it has found... So let's connect. So it's going to tell us that it's going to format our drives, which they're brand new. So we're going to download the latest disk station manager. So we'll create a password. We'll call it disk station. And we're going to create a Synology Hybrid RAID, SHR. And what that is, is if you go to your RAID calculator, and I have three terabyte hard drives. They have a nice little program here that tells you what you're going to get for storage if you're doing it for, you know, a backup. So basically, I have 12, I have, uh, 12 terabytes and I'm going to get nine usable because the other three terabytes are used for, uh, you know, redundancy. So we have SHR and we have RAID 5 and basically they're the same exact thing. Uh, but it's all about, SHR is all about future uh, expandability and I would do SHR. So we have it all set up and we're going to hit install now. All the data on the hard disk will be removed. I understand. And now it is done and ready to go. Well, that's going to do it for us for this video. The next video, we will log in and we'll check out the default operating system. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on my next video.